You roll out your pastry, you cut out your little shapes, and you've got all those edges. Let me show you what to do with them. <laughs> You're in your kitchen, you're about to roll out your pastry, but I wanna give you a little tip before you do that. So, all through the month, you're spraying your bench with your little nasties, and then you wanna go and roll your pastry on it. Stop! This is what you do. Get an old lemon, cut it in half, and just rub it over your bench. Okay, and that will pick up all of those nasties and give it a lovely flavour. Give it a wipe, that's your bench, and then when you roll it out, your pastry will taste of the lemon and not of the squeezy squeezy Mr. Muscle or whatever it is you use. So that's a really good tip. So, you've used your pastry, savoury or sweet, and then you've got all these bits left over. First of all, if you roll it all up and you put it in your fridge because you're going to use it tomorrow because now it's wine time, for your sweet, roll it into a ball then you know it's sweet, and for your savoury, flatten it out, and you know it's savoury. Flat is savoury, round is sweet, and then you don't get confused. Then you'll get that like sweet sausage roll that's really nasty, okay? So what I've done is I've made some straws. I've made some beautiful herby cheesy straws here, and over here I've made some beautiful, using my sweet as butter, oh my gosh, amazing orangey, lemony, sweet, 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 beautiful straws. So your cheesy straws, really lovely on a platter, put them in your lunch boxes, just have them as a snack, dip them in some hummus, do whatever you like with them, and they will stay in an airtight container, really delicious. Your sweety ones, well, hello, sweet, beautiful straws. My mouth is actually watering because I love pastry. These are amazing, dipped in some chocolate, listen, Dip them in some chocolate, eat that lot up, or you can put them in some ice cream. There's so much to do. I will move on, otherwise I'll start eating them. The other thing you can do, which is what I do a lot, I get a little pie tin, and this can happen with sweet or savoury, and I just line a pie tin and I put them in the freezer. And most pastry comes, you know, on one of those kind of non-stick bluey doodars. So I just put those in between, pop them in the freezer, and a little friend comes around, I can either make a quick quiche, or I can put a little bit of curd in there, a little bit of lemon um, meringue on top, and Bob Girardi's living lover. But listen, I've got things to do, so that's my pastry hack. Don't forget my socials as well. You can subscribe today and become part of the Hacks community.